Well, we'll chat through the matchups uh, soon, but we'll first of all, we'll give you the teams. For Leash, Brock on O'Reilly starts in goals with Bobby Murphy, Kieran Flynn, and Joseph Pearson, the full back line. Thomas Brennan, Tom Cuddy, and Cormac Hogan form a half back line with Andrew McDonough and Kevin Byrne in midfield. Ben Deegan, Liam Kirby, and Jack Green form the half forward line, and inside, Owen Cuddy, Jerry Quinlan, and also Cormac Byrne. For Offley, Liam Hoare starts in goals with Caleb Larkin, James Mahan, and Rory Kelly. Donald Shirley, Brecken Kavna, and Tara Guinan form the half back line with Lee. Kavna and Killian Martin form in the middle of the field. Shane Rigney, Dan Ravenhill, the captain, and Connor Doyle in that half forward line and inside. Cahill Robinson, Niall Furlong, and Adam Screeny. So both sides are lining out as selected. A lot of talent still on both benches, and it's great to see the extended panel members, of course, which make it all possible, uh, making up both sides. The manager for Leash, Declan Qualter, and Leo O'Connor for Offaly, the Limerick man. We're going to play against them. What way they're going to set up against it? Because it is a strong breeze. But if, if the supply of ball goes in there, and Adam Screeny is on form. Leash will find it very, very hard to, like, like any of the rest of the teams, will find it very hard to look after him. But in saying that, the man inside on form can only be as good as the guys outside him. So if, if, we, have, if we have the rest of the boys, the likes of Rigney, the likes of Dan Ravenhill, like if they're on form as well, we're in with a shout. Well, we'll have pause now for a moment silence uh, in memory of Aidan King of the Carrigan River Sound Club. Three of his uh, comrades line out here today from their club as we stand for a minute silence. We'll stand now for on the veen. even to hear the stadium announcer here as we said that minute silence was first for Aidan King the late Aidan King of the Carrigan River Sound Club he represented awfully with distinction from under 14 right through to under 20 a lovely young fella and he'd be a savage loss to both his club his family and we extend our sympathies uh, to his family on the devastating loss of Aidan uh, he's in the forefront and thoughts of the Offaly people and indeed the wider GA community today but certainly we go back now to the game uh, fantastic roar there as the atmosphere builds up we're moments away from throwing. I haven't seen a crowd like this in a Moore Park in many years that we've been coming over here to broadcast matches. Referee for today just checking on his linesmen and also inside both sets of umpires. A huge cheer coming. We're moments away. The ref, Cayman Flynn from Westmead. We're moments away now from throwing as both sets of players come in. The match is on. The game is on. The Leinster Minor Hurling Championship Final of 2022. Both players go for it underground. It's off you. Come away with it first. Dan Raven, he looks to break the tackle. He stood up by three or four leash bodies and they managed to hold him up but he over fouls the ball and it's going to be a chance of an opening free for Leash. Yeah, and Le- just uh, Leash are playing with the wind. It was a strong one whether it stays all night, I don't know. It was interesting to see how he'd ref that because a lot of refs will give the sympathy one with, with Offaly and, and it could have gone either way but it's, it's gone Leash's way this time. Well, a difficult free to start with for Ben Deegan, the Camros player. He's right on his own 65, a yard or two to the left-hand side of the goal. Deegan lifts that ball, a low trajectory. He strikes it straight towards uh, the left-hand side. It just carries out to the left-hand side and wide and not a simple one to start with. Yeah, whether his nerves or not, but either way, he was downwind, so he, he, he shouldn't have had a problem with the distance, but he, came, he, he slapped the ball a little bit, didn't catch it right. 
Well, Liam Hoare comes with the first puck out for Offaly. He goes down the far side of the field towards Shane Rigney. It's batted back uh, by the Leash defence, and they're quickest on to the break. Leash have started the quicker as they work the ball up to Kevin Byrne. Kevin Byrne offloads to Jack Breen. Jack Breen, patient on the ball, comes across the middle of the field. Offaly try to put in a hit there, but it's Leash who maintain possession of the slitter. Kevin Byrne is on his knees. This time he wins the free. Caught the Offaly players that stood him up, but again, uh, Leash have started well. The, ha- the, ha- but the interesting news in that was there was about three hand passes there. Well, about four bo- hand passes for, for, from, from Leash. Three of them look very dodgy. So if he's, if he's going to let it go, let it go. If he pulled them, pulled them. But I just need consistency so the players can now see that they can hand pass freely because uh, yesterday three of them would have been pulled as frees for, for, for Offaly. Well, certainly about 10 yards closer to the goals. It is going to be a chance at a free for Ben Deegan once again. Uh, ben has been the main source of scores for Leash throughout this campaign. And this will be a chance to get the first score of the game. We're into the second minute now. Leash no score. Offaly no score. Deegan now with the free to come. Cayman Flynn blows the whistle. Just ushers one of the Offaly players back. And Deegan lifts that ball. He strikes this one well. He has the distance. And he has the accuracy to match. And Leash open up the score. And certainly, Stephen, like you said before the game, you'd hope that this game is let flow. And it doesn't become a spectacle of very stop-start hurling. Absolutely. Um, just noticing, Leash have started very, very confidently and on the ball. First break of ball came down and again there again. Leash are awfully have it. Well, off we go away now with it. Uh, through Tarragain and Tarragain comes in field. He's breaking two tackles. He's on the edge of the 21. Gain in the wing back. He's still going off the hole. Rasta just over the crossbar. But for the right half back for Offley, that's a brilliant run through the defence. Absolutely fabulous run. And that's what you need. It's a half back. And you see your wing backs doing that and taking a bit of pressure off as well. Fabulous, fabulous score. Well, a brilliant settling score by Offley and Tarragain. It's a pint each for both the sides. The puck out comes long from Leash. Ben Deegan tries to win it with his own uh, teammate. Takes it off. And that's Owen Cuddy. Cuddy's hand pass goes astray and away come Offaly up the field is set it up to the right wing forward position Offaly trying to keep it in Leash back there though in numbers both sides scramble for it does break out over the sideline it's off at the foot of Shane Rigney it's a line ball for Leash just on the set up um, because of the wind Offaly have actually set up as a sweeper um, so they're playing seven back there but it, it'll force Leash to play a sweeper it, the wind tonight is dictating that that mightn't, mightn't have been the plan for Egypt either managers before he started but that's the way we've set up well, Leash take the line ball quickly through uh, Bobby Murphy. Bobby Murphy comes back to his fullback as Leash go across the field, down into the bottom right-hand corner. They get it at the second attempt. They go with the hand pass out as far as Ben Deegan. Ben Deegan in a pocket of space gets his shot away, and it's a good start by Ben Deegan and a good start by Leash. Yeah, and a young burn in the corner as well. Good little touch, fed it out. Deegan, you had to sit in the pocket. Good score. So it's two points, Leash, one point Offaly. Here comes Liam Hoare with the puck out for Offaly. He goes off his left-hand side uh, down the wing towards Ravenhill. Ravenhill in a battle there along with Killian Martin. Offaly come away with this ball now. They're going to get the shot through Killian Martin on the run off his left-hand side, right out in the side, and it's going to break in the square. Leash goalkeeper Brock on O'Reilly gets it out in the space. He runs out to the left-hand side corner. No one within acres of space. Offaly try to close down through Lee Kavna, but O'Reilly gets the puck out long down towards the Leash 45. Ben Egan goes up, but Offaly win it underground. Here they come out through the defence Offaly again just trying to work it out but good hassling and harrying from the Leash players Leash try to come in field if you've just joined us two points Leash one point Offaly into the fifth minute both players tussle for it on the ground the referee might blow for it but he hasn't yet and Brecon Kavna comes away with it Brecon Kavna sends it down the field towards the Offaly full forward line they try to win this it comes in field and again Leash back there in that defence in numbers they take a shoulder off the Offaly midfielder Lee Kavna Leash will have to release this ball the referee uh, looking for it it is going to be a free in Toffley and Stephen Credit both sets of sides working extremely hard so far absolutely and uh, it was a fair hit there I know it was 50-50 and uh, it was close but look at Offaly got the benefit of that time but just looking at uh, Brecken Kavanagh centre back there to be fair to him he, he was blocked down first time he came back won the ball again and gave a big, great ball up the half forward line we won the free of it but this is a mighty start it's a great start to a game now well, it is going to be a chance for Offaly now. A first touch for Adam Screeny, the free taker. Uh, Screeny about 40 metres out. It should suit a right-sided free taker as he steps back to try and level this game. It is Leash two points. Offaly a point. Screeny now with the free to come. Lifts it and straight over the crossbar. Right over the blue spot in the goals. And certainly, Stephen, that's where a free taker wants to start. A nice, simple free. Settle him into the game. Absolutely. And look, at it doesn't matter how good a player you are. You need to settle down. The best of them in the country need to settle down. That'll be great for Adam just to settle into the game. Well, away come Offaly to try to win that puck out through Brecken Kavna. He loses his foot and Offaly back there with Killian Martin again trying to win the ball. Uh, Leash just can't get a clean either. Does break out towards Lee Kavna. Lee Kavna running up. He has paced to burn this man. Three Leash men on his shoulders. He scoops it forward down into the corner. It looks like Offaly have won the free and won the advantage. And certainly a late hit coming in there uh, from, I think it was the Leash full back here on Flynn. But it's to be another good chance for a score for Offaly. Yeah, another good chance there. And we're just... Just discipline is going to be vital here today because like they have two exceptionally good free takers. Um, 
in, in Ben Duggan in particular and then you have um, Adam who's taken a lot of the frees inside and then you have Dan Ravenhill who takes them from the 60 in so discipline will be vital there won't be, there won't be too many frees missed yeah, well, it's a very precarious situation when young fighters are playing in such a big crowd. You play on raw emotion, and sometimes that can get the better of them. Here comes Screeny with the free, lifts it, strikes it confidently straight through and over the bar, and that's three points in a row uh, for Offley. It's now Offley three, leash two, but certainly the game just finding its own uh, pace there at the minute end. I agree, and there's a couple of hits going in, and um, in fairness, Kevin Byrne took a, a massive b- b- belt, and, that, and, and, he, and he ended up lying on the ball, which was a free for Offley. Normally, you get a sympathetic one, nothing sympathetic here tonight. Yeah, well, the ball comes away down into the corner. Offley win it back now. They try to burst out of the fence again. Uh, both sides hassling and Harry with great effect, particularly uh, this leash forward unit. They're really putting the Offley backs under pressure. Brecken Cabinet gets in there into a ruck and manages to come out with it and wins the free. And certainly, he's leading from centre half back. Of course, his twin brother uh, wearing number eight, playing just in front from Lee Cabinet. The identical twins from Gilkarma Kalai. And it's going to be a free now for Offley and a chance to set up the attack. A packed up more park here. Seven minutes played. This Leinster minor hurling final. It's three points for Offley, two points for Lee as that ball goes across from Raven Hill to Screeny Screeny shows good skill to try and flick it by the corner back Bobby Murphy Screeny though is just uh, fumbles it out over the side and it's going to be a line ball for Leash but again you can sense that bit of danger Offley trying to put Screeny on that ball early and he has the skills to match Absolutely he had two, two Leash men on him that time already he was unlucky not to get up the ball a second time but I have to say in, in any team if you have your centre back actually hurling he's mopping up um, Brecken Kavanagh there at the moment has started absolutely brilliantly and uh, he's, took an o- he's taken an awful lot of pressure off that half back line full back yeah, well, he's coming to line ball now. The target was Ben Deegan. He's going to have a good battle there with Brecken Kavanagh. Brecken Kavanagh wins this now. Comes down uh, the wing towards Conor Doyle, the Clara club man. Conor Doyle sends it across where Lee Kavanagh has made a good run. He's about 30 metres out. First touch will be vital here. Kavanagh, uh, despite good pressure there, just loses that ball as Cormac Hogan comes away with it. He tracked them all the way. Hogan goes along with it for Leach down onto the edge of the 21 metre line. Ball just breaks off the helmet of one of the players. Leach quickest to react. That's through Jared Quinlan. Quinlan comes off his left hand side, gets the score. You spoke before the match end how pivotal big Jerk Quinlan is on the edge of the square and that's a good score ah, that is yeah in fairness he used his strength there he had a man behind him you thought he might get hooked but these big powerful arms and in fairness a fair score well, that's a leveling score once again. Three points, these three points awfully. Nodding between the sides. Game played at a frantic pace. Here comes Liam Hoare with the puck out down towards the middle of the field. Offley watches all the way and it's caught by uh, Connor Doyle. Doyle now with the ball in hand for Offley. Or Niall Furling, I should say, with the ball in hand for Offley. Strikes it in towards Screeny. Three men around him. Screeny kicks it forward. Uh, Kieran Flynn is back there to full back for Leach. Loses footing. Ball breaks free. Flynn recuperates, tries to get it. It's right out on the end line. Offley do well uh, just to keep this ball in play. Leash have it now. Screeny puts in the tackle. But Leash, knock it up the line, awfully overturn it through Killian Martin. Martin tries to burrow a hole inside and wins the free. Good persistence uh, by Killian Martin. Awfully win the free, 21 metres out. But certainly, Stephen, both sides, particularly in the forward line, they're really not making it easy for defenders to get in a clearance. No, absolutely not. And if you look at Adam again there, Adam Adam has had a half chance there of getting in on goal, but three Leash guys around him. So, like, what I was saying beforehand was that, OK, you'd have Adam there, he can do certain things, he can stick a ball in the net, but he needs the back up there as well. If he gets on a ball to throw a ball back out, pop it over the bar. Well, another good chance of a score for Offley, this time from a place ball. It's Screeny, he's on a 21 meter, 21 meter line, about 10 or 12 yards out to the right-hand side of the goal. And again, this should suit at the angle which he will hit the free. The referee, Cayman Flynn, blows the whistle. Screeny lifts that ball, the strikes it over the bar inside the left-hand post. And Offley take the lead once again into the 10th minute now. It is Offley four points, Lee three in this Leinster minor hurling final. Brock on O'Reilly has the goals, or has the ball in the goals for Lee. Sends it out to his corner back, Joe Pearson. Pearson comes up the field with the ball with the red helmet sends it in field awfully watching this all the way Dan Ravenhill back there almost in a sweep roll gets that out as far as Brecken Kavanagh who wins the free and certainly uh, awfully settling into it in that back line they are yeah and what they're awfully are doing they're playing two inside and Screeny's one of them and he's got a lot of space either side because they're playing against the wind but Screeny here he goes again lovely touch well Screeny just sells it on he gets it back onto his left hand side the crowd in the terrace a lot of them awfully are there watch that and certainly uh, no nerves there Stephen I uh, know when you give him room that was absolutely tremendous a beautiful score flicked the ball over the top and stuck the ball in fairness if he gets inside that that 30 yard line very 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 hard to stop 
Yeah, well, a brilliant bit of skill uh, by Screeny, the star man for Offaly on paper. He's got the bulk of their scores this year, but Offaly and Leash have stars on both sides. Offaly try to win this back now in their own full back line through Rory Kelly, bursting out the Lusma club man. Uh, takes it back onto the hurl. He's looking up the field, gets the hand pass away towards Connor Doyle. Doyle now sends this ball long down into the corner. Screeny trying to get it onto a two Leash men gathering there, and Leash will get there first, but Screeny keeps the pressure on, manages the forage this back. Don't know how he managed to get the ball from there. Goes onto his left hand side, gets the shot away, but the angle always against him I think he's going to keep in play it's going along the end line and eventually breaks wide Stephen a fair attempt to dispossess he nearly picked the leash uh, cornerback's pocket but just always going against himself striking it from there yeah he probably should have played that ball across um he should have played that ball across. I think it was Niall Furlong that was out. It was a one-on-one on the far side. Just that time, he, he just took the wrong option. Well, away come off you now. They're starting to pick up the pace in the middle of the field. The ball comes back now towards Killian Martin from Tullamore. Killian Martin sends that ball a long way from the halfway line and gets it over the bar. And that's the first time now Offaly have three points between the sides. They have, and the, and the, 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 the wind is detecting that damn... It awfully have to work the ball into the corners it's suiting them but Leash are just going long and it's not suiting and we're not winning the first phase ball so awfully are in control of the game at the moment yeah, well, Offaly really starting to just take control momentarily around that half uh, back line of theirs and also Killian Martin just sitting back there in that pocket uh, along with Dan Ravenhill right in front of the centre half back Brecon Kavanagh and Offaly uh, performing uh, nearly barrier-like uh, set up there just behind their own 65 and uh, now Offaly will have a chance a uh, difficult free it has to be said for Dan Ravenhill the captain uh, he's been ex- expertly uh, good at these frees so far in this campaign particularly from long range but he is playing into a stiff breeze here in this first half if you've just joined us there's almost 30 minutes gone it's Offaly 6 Lee three points here comes Ravenhill now with his first long range free the referee blows the whistle and Ravenhill the left sided free taker and the captain for off he lifts that ball he gets good distance in it he will have the distance but he just off to the left hand side and wide and certainly Stephen to get that sort of a strike uh, into a strong breeze it has to be said here uh, takes a bit of doing and shows how lethal he can be yeah he was unlucky there but I, I'd say every score is vital now at the moment because this is going to be very tight um it, it'll be interesting to see the goal chances that maybe will come at some stage for either team and will they be taken? Well, here come Leash Long with through Jack Breen and that's a fantastic score on the run off his left-hand side in an effortless strike. Great strike and he wanted the, he called for the puck out. He wanted the ball. He wants to make an impression. Great cast, great score. Well, exactly what Leash needed. They're back within two. It's awfully six. Leash four. Leash almost overtook that ball. But away comes Niall Furlong with the ball. Sends a cross field towards Adam uh, Screeny. Screeny, just his first touch, lets him down that time. Leash back there in numbers again. So too is Connor Doyle trying to win it back for Offaly. Leash bring it out towards uh, their midfielder, Kevin Bourne. Hasn't got it into his hand yet, but Leash are foraging hard and they'll win the free through Andrew McDonough. And again, that's an important uh, moment there as Leash just wrestled back the advantage and started to get grips with it in their own half back then as Ben Deegan comes out. Uh, he's a long way from home but he's aided by this breeze and distance shouldn't be a problem for Ben yeah just the game was going against late for a while so you're looking for somebody to stand up and in fairness to Jack Breen called the puck out and, and, and uh, it's a vital score to bring it back to two and now we've another chance Ben again for long free here we go well, Ben Deegan now strikes that ball. It's going to break in around the square. Offfield just content to let it break out to the left-hand side and wide. Uh, just forcing the shot there, Deegan. He was a long way out, maybe 90 metres. And certainly, uh, awfully happy to see that go out to the left-hand side and wide. 14 minutes played here in Amour Park. It is awfully six. Leash, four pints. Here comes Liam Hoare with the puck out off his left-hand side. Sending it down there towards Connor Doyle. Both sets of players watching it. Offfield try to win it on the ground. They do eventually come away with it now as Leash just retreating. As Offfield try to get the shot away. They come up the field with the ball but again it's Offaly's turn uh, just to pull a wide ball there through uh, Donald Shirley and certainly both sides just feeling their way back into this game it's been played at a frantic pace so far in the opening quarter of an hour Leash four points Offaly six here comes uh, Leash with the puck out Brock on O'Reilly sends it out to an unmarked midfielder Kevin Byrne Byrne will have a chance to get the shot away the umpire is looking at it right underneath the post but just tails to the left hand side and wide but it was a good idea just not to go too long was, um, in, fairness, in fairness to Kevin he gave himself an option so you have to do different things in fairness to Offaly they have the two wing backs are able to run up to the side they're able to pay the ball in in front of the corner forward so they, they have more to their game at the moment when the puck out comes now again from Liam Hoare this time it's won back by Karma Hogan for Leash he gets back onto his right hand side and sends it route one in towards the edge of the 14 yard line but that's a broken well out there by the Offaly full back James Mahan he gets the hand pass out now towards Tara Guinan who slips and in comes Jack Breen onto it for Leash gets the shot away off the left hand side but this time always falling away from the goals it was indeed, but uh, in fairness, Offaly looked very good and very sound, and that uh, James Mahan looks like a, a solid full-back, and uh, it, it nothing, there'll be nothing easy in there today. 
James Mahan certainly has been one of the pillars of strength for Offaly so far. Offaly now uh, retreat through Niall Furlong who wins that ball around the middle of the field. Connor Doyle in to help him as well but Leash overturned this now and come up the field with it uh, through Thomas Brennan but Offaly back there in numbers uh, just not letting him get any further. It is still Offaly six points. Leash four. 16 minutes gone. Offaly overturned that through Doyle but his hand pass is misplaced but Offaly might just get the look at the bounce of the ball and they come away with it through Carl Robinson. Robinson uh, tries to get the hand pass forward towards Doyle uh, but this time the referee has just judged for a throw ball and certainly Stephen after the opening uh, maybe 10-12 minutes it's end-to-end stuff uh, just maybe a couple of mistakes starting to come into the game yeah and a few wides as well and, and look at I think Enda alluded on it sometimes playing with the breeze is, is, is more difficult and in a big field like this particularly with the sets of forwards that we have sometimes when the ball holds up inside it gives your forwards a better chance um, but Leash have Leash have put I think it's four wide there now at the minute they'll be disappointed with that particularly playing with a strong breeze well, Offaly win that long leash clearance from the goalkeeper through Terry Guy, and he sends it up now towards uh, Connor Doyle. Connor Doyle gets a bit of space in the middle of the field, skips by a leash challenge, and he's going to maybe uh, think about playing a ball down into the corner that uh, goes in towards uh, the Offaly corner for Carl Robinson. Robinson with a brilliant first touch gets the hand pass out as far as screeny, screeny off his left hand side, take the shot, but that's caught by Brock on O'Reilly in the goals for leash, and away comes uh, O'Reilly with it for the leash man. He sends a good puck out, out towards uh, Jack Breen. Breen sends it down the field, but again it just breaks over uh, the head of all the players and waiting there is James Mahan safe as a house at full back so far away come off you now once again they're trying to run in field with it but again leash back there in numbers and it is end to end stuff but both defences now starting to get well on top off he tried to overturn this ball but again leash hold on to it through Kevin Byrne and this time Kevin Byrne gets a high challenge and wins the free next score important Deja seemed a bit of a, a, a handy one I think the ref is actually we said, we said when Stephen were talking beforehand about everything including the ref and we were hoping he'd let it go I think he's done a fair job now so far and the lads have been able to tear into each other and um, I didn't see the free there but he obviously did but I, I, I wouldn't be giving out about the ref so far I think he's done a fine job well, Ben Deegan, uh, most of the frees he's getting are not in around that 40, 50 yard scoring zone. He's back behind his own 65 once again. Here comes Deegan with the free for Leash. Lifts it, gets good distance behind it. The umpires have a look. They haven't to look too long. And after a couple of hard frees, that's a good score by Deegan. Absolutely. He needs to settle him and settle his team. And there's a lot of hurling going. So you need to keep the scoreboard ticking over. So he'll be happy with that and Leash will too. A lot of hurling done. Only one point between the sides. Six for Offaly, five for Leash. 18 minutes gone here in a pulsating, throbbing of Moore Park. Four of excitement here for this Leinster hurling championship final away come off now with the ball they try to win it but it does break out off the stick of Killian Martin and it's going to be a line ball uh, for Leash so the next maybe 5-10 minutes crucial to see who can take uh, maybe some form of control of this first half as Jack Breen just lining up that line ball but I think he's going to leave it off there to his centre back uh, Tom Cuddy actually the cornerback Bobby Murphy is going to come out two players with the white helmets and it's a chance maybe for both sets of players to draw their bed into the 19th minute it is awfully 6 Leash 5 points here comes Bobby Murphy with the line ball makes brilliant connection with it sends it in towards the 21 metre line but that's one back there uh, by the Offaly captain Dan Ravenhill playing in a more defensive role in this opening half sends a long ball down in the corner the target was Jack Screeny but first to it is Joseph Pearson Joseph Pearson comes away with that ball for Leach gets the hand pass out to Tom Cuddy Cuddy now uh, comes takes a strike from distance but it's just going to break out to the left hand side and wide and certainly Stephen a uh, defender's game the last couple of minutes yeah absolutely and I just noticed um, even with Leach playing with the breeze there there, that uh, the sweeper seems to be working for our, our lads so far in this game and, and I think Leash are trying to just leave a one man in there and, uh, to expose whether it's whether it's Owen Cuddy or whether it's Cormac Byrne but it just doesn't seem to be working for them the ball is coming out too quick yeah well again Leash really coming into this game strong they have a fine defence led by Tom Cuddy at centre back Offaly getting it hard to poke the holes through that defence at a minute here comes Kieran Flynn with it bursting out from full back uh, as he works it out towards his number 9 that's Kevin Byrne Kevin Byrne loses possession neither side can recuperate there is going to be a free here and it's going to be uh, for Leash Offaly just or for Offaly rather just going to be punished here now as Adam Screeny comes out to take this free uh, is going to be Kevin Byrne but certainly not a whole pile in that it has to be said and Offaly will have a chance and certainly you have to credit both defences Leash really finding a foothold in that game Offaly's half back in the start of well but a lot of that Leash leaders Kieran Finn Tom Cuddy really coming to the fore now yeah and I think we we alluded to that before the game as well that uh, uh, both defences in the campaign have, have leaked very little to be fair to them and that one's just gone over yeah 
Yeah, we look at Screeny there, never going to miss from there. A simple enough free there from 45 metres, and that's put it puts Offaly two back in front again. It's Offaly seven, Leash five points just after 20 minutes. That puck out intercepted there uh, from Leash by Brecca or Lee Kavna. Lee Kavna takes on Cuddy, has the advantage, might need a jet. He skips back in through two or three Leash challenges, but the free had came, and this is going to be a chance for Offaly to add further on to the lead. In fairness, Brocken is looking out, seeing what his options are. Can he go long? Will he go short? But in fairness, I was, I was just watching actually Lee Kavanagh. What he was doing, he was kind of half fooling the keeper. I was really looking at you, but he was very, very focused. Well played, Lee. But Lee was very clever. Well, Adam Screeny is going to have another uh, free almost straight in front of the goals about 45 metres out and he pops it over the bar and certainly uh, where Leash have copped up the few frees that Offaly have punished him from it's all in the scoring zone Offaly uh, seem to be more content to give away the frees out around the middle of the field uh, they, they are but in, in fairness there's an awful lot of honesty going on here I, ju- I just think that the, the, the bit for uh, Leash is not working is they're working it out but as far as the middle third but the, the, there isn't a focus and you've mentioned it already and Stephen says we've one man inside we're playing with the wind um, if that's what you're need, if that's what you're doing well then you should be shooting from 50-60 metres but we're hitting the ball in a, a three on one so Declan needs to sort that out well, it is into the 22nd minute of the game. It is awfully eight points. Leash, five points. Ball comes up the field now. Killian Martin tries to just keep it in. He's tussing over the far side of the field as the ball breaks out off Martin. And it is going to be a line ball for Leash. And with their cornerback, Bobby Murphy, he'll come out and take this one once again. So Leash will just be looking uh, to get a score. As end that right, he said, a strong breeze behind him. Maybe if Leash a shoot from 50, 60 metres, uh, that'll carry them over the bar because they're getting into good positions here as this line ball is about to be taken. And it's going to be taken this time by Thomas Brennan. He sends a brilliant one in towards Ben Deegan it breaks off Deegan and in around and a 21 metre line Leash almost get it there James Mahan back there just intercepted as Cormac Bourne is about to pick it up Mahan uh, comes out from full back one hand and flicks it out towards Lee Cavan he'll do well to keep this in here and indeed he won't the ball just makes it out over the sideline you can just see it there uh, the excitement in Leash that ball did break in for half a chance if Cormac Bourne had been onto it a chance of a goal yeah but more to the point I think was how clever or how solid that uh, awfully full back line is we were talking about it earlier young Larkin Mahan and, Ke- and Kelly are very very good and uh, just looking at it even though the ball went in it it, it, it didn't look like it was going to be a goal chance they're very they're awfully full back line very good well the line ball comes here from Ben Deegan he makes brilliant connection with it and cuts it over the bar what a score if Joe Canning who wore a red helmet for so many years were to do that they'd be talking about him for a young fella 17 years of age to cut it over I like that a brilliant brilliant skill wouldn't mind just before the game I was watching them practicing and actually uh, Adam Screen he did the very same in practice so I'm sure he'll get his chance as well but in, in fairness to Ben great score great score Leash needed badly well a classy classy score from a classy player and that's a good score for Leash at the real right time and Leash now have a free to follow up and it's that man Ben Deegan who cut over that majestic sideline cut he's going to go back now uh, closer to his own uh, half back line than the 65 he's almost uh, 4 or 5 metres out uh, from his own 45 breeze behind him uh, he's at a 24 minute it's Leash 6 points awfully 8 here comes Deegan with the free to come came and flinned the referee blows the whistle and Deegan now his confidence will be sky high he lifts that ball sends it a long way and he's going to have the distance uh, Leash just trying to keep it in there breaks in the square and uh, was just dropping out to the left hand side and wide Leash kept it in but quickest to it is uh, Offaly's full back and that is James Mann who comes up the field with it but it's given away there now uh, towards Cormac Hogan Hogan has been playing well at left half back for Leash just rushes a shot breaks out to the right hand side and wide yeah it was Dan Dan Ravenhill he had, he had a lot of time there um, he looked up and, and in fairness to him it was nearly the perfect ball but it went straight to a leash, a leash wing back in Cormac Hogan. But again, Leash didn't didn't do anything with it and playing with it with a breeze there inside. I I don't know. As I said, I said I don't know what the game plan is, but um, Leash seems to be coming on top though, Joe. They're on top there for the last four or five minutes now, and what's gone? Twenty four minutes. So last six minutes, off we need to get back into it. Probably in the leash have dominated that possession in the last maybe five, ten minutes, but the half a minute count yet on the scoreboard. I think you're right. And what Stephen is saying well, tactically, what are we doing? Like look look at this ball, it's going in, there's three off Lee men and only one leash man. That's not gonna work. Yeah, well, certainly off he looked. They've got to set up the captain and centre forward, Dan Raven. He, he's playing as an extra defender back there and is really adding a bit of bulk and steel to that awfully half back in that layer of protection. But here comes Offley up the other end of the field. Adam Screeny uh, cuts inside his man. He's pulled back there uh, and it is going to be a free for Offley and Adam Screeny. But certainly, Stephen, it looks so far as if Offley have got their set up right. They're willing to sacrifice Raven Hill out of the line. He's probably uh, arguably the biggest man on the field and he's hitting a lot of ball and winning a lot of ball behind that half back line for Offley. Absolutely, and we're talking about the supply of ball inside, and it hasn't worked out the whole time, but Adam got out in front that time, 
got onto the ball and, and, and for anyone marking a small man will know that it's very hard to tackle them because the first thing they'll do you put the arm around them they'll go down to ground another score from Adam Screening from free yeah well that's his most difficult free so far out near the sideline about 45-50 metres out in Screeny uh, full of confidence puts that ball over the bar to restore a three point lead for Offaly it is Offaly nine points Leash six into the 26 minute of this match away come Leash now ball could break here it almost came up for Ben Deegan Leash still haven't given up on it through Jer Quinn I think a chop came in there uh, from Brecon Cavanagh well certainly that's uh, what it looks like from the free but Jer Quinn and you can just see and that there is that chance uh, if that ball can break right for Leash Jer Quinn and he's probably been star of the quality ball Ben Deegan the same it'll probably be a free put over here by Leash but certainly you just look to hit that forward line a bit quicker with more uh, crisp and precise ball or else bring uh, Jer Quinlan to the half and start shooting from the half but you have to come up with something my, my own phone here has gone mad with text messages saying what's the forward set up and what's, why is it happening so people on the people on TV and people listening to themselves are wondering why why is the Leash set up the way it is But it, and everybody can appreciate it it's just not working at the minute yeah, well, you can see they're isolating, or they had been isolating uh, Jared Quinlan in the edge of the square, but there's been two, if not three, Offaly defenders around there as Offaly have just their players further up the field. Uh, but Jared Quinlan now gone out to centre forward. Here come Leash through Thomas Brennan. Thomas Brennan flying up the field, tries to scoop it out one-handed into the corner. But again, Offaly just back there numbers. Jared Quinlan, though, will wrestle it back for Leash. Good pick up and a hand pass out to Liam Corby. Corby fumbles the ball, but does well to recuperate it. Gets it back out towards Jared Quinlan. Offaly trying in vain uh, to overturn it as Quinlan comes off his left hand side from distance just out of the left hand side and wide even though that's a wide that's a positive from Quinlan to get on the ball more that's what I'm saying either give him ball inside or bring him out so I have no problem to him sitting around 45 metres out getting on the ball and that's, maybe he did that himself I don't know but it's good to see him getting on ball well, if you've just joined us, it is a, a game. Finally, Pies is currently Offaly with a two-point lead. Offaly nine, Leash uh, seven points. 27 minutes almost played here in a packed O'Moore Park in Port Leash. Offaly now try to win it back uh, around the middle of the field and eventually get it into her hand through Niall Furlong. Furlong sets away. He makes a bit of inroads there. Gets the hand pass outside towards Cahill Robinson. Robinson is blocked down. Offaly looking for the rebound. Robinson gets it again. Goes outside towards Connor Doyle. Doyle again tries to get the hand pass. But Leash stand him up and Jared Quinn and he started to get more involved in this game since he's come out around the edge of the 45 65 metre line Leash back there holding up but that's a spectacular uh, pick up there by Offaly but again just as they get the hand pass away uh, the referee has blown for free and certainly Stephen uh, despite both sides uh, doing a good bit of hurling in their own ways it is largely defensive on top you can see Leash as his end has said starting to just slowly change their shape and that's bringing the likes of Jericho and into the match yeah absolutely there's been a few scrappy moments there or whatever but just looking from an Offaly point of view we have been in positions from 50 yards out to move the ball a bit quicker and lads were we're in position and we just we just dallied on it a little bit and there was guys in open space to give us an opportunity to be able to strike and then we have a turnover well certainly a break in play here will be a chance for both sets of players and indeed management just to catch their respective breaths but the last couple of minutes you've maybe seen a change in focus from Leash they know both sets of management the game isn't getting away from it it's uh, six and one half a dozen the other both sides of the field two points in the game you really have to maybe just go for them and a bit more belief particularly from the Leash side I think so, and I think what he pulled there was I think Jar Quinlan went down with a potential head injury, so he pulled it. Now it'd be interesting to see because Kieran or uh, Cormac Bourne had the ball in his hand. Is it an, an indirect free? That's my understanding. Um, I think this will be an indirect free for Leash because he pulled it up rightly so for a head injury. Um, but I, I, in fairness, I think Offaly also have a, an issue. Is um, is that Screeny or Guiney? That's I think it's one of the wing backs that's down, and he's not right either. He's taken off his helmet and he's struggling physio. Physio, what do you think about that, Joe? I'm not too sure. If it, is that Screeny? No, no, it's not Screeny. Screeny wearing 15. Uh, it looks to be Terragain and he's back up onto his feet. Hasn't the helmet on yet. Uh, but certainly, even though the strong breeze is favouring Leash uh, from a win perspective in this first half, it has benefited neither side, really. And you could actually see it open up more in the second half for Leash. That delivery of low, proper quality ball. I think you're right, Joe. I think that I think they're two very even teams, and uh, there'll be nothing in it. But here's an indirect free kick or indirect free puck. I'm fairly sure, yeah. Comes in and breaks in the edge of the square. Offaly have to be quick with it here. Liam Ho races out from the goals. There's a sub on the Offaly team into the fray. Comes uh, Paddy Dooley, Didi Kennedy, club man, and off goes uh, Terra Guyne. And Terra Guyne got that brilliant opening score, but he, as Enda said, I got hit there and just went down. Wasn't able to recover that injury. So that's the first change for Offaly. Offaly come away with the ball now. They have it in the hands of Adam Screeny. Screeny now uh, tries to get it across uh, the face of the Leash 45, but again, Leash really warmed to the task. Here comes Jack Breen shooting from distance. Ball breaks in around the square. Battle 
it away there by Liam Horn. Uh, Liam Horn, safety first, gets it out as far as the captain, Dan Ravenhill, who's in a bit of space. Ravenhill now will send the ball down into the corner where Cahill Robinson has made a good run. Can Robinson get it out in front of his man? He does. He slips alongside the full-back here on Finn. Uh, Robinson still holds on to the ball, but he might uh, just have fouled it here, and he has, and that's really good defending by Kieran Flynn. Uh, his man had got the ball first. Ball player slipped. Flynn didn't go in, didn't foul, stood him up and won the free. In fairness to it, I think the two sets of full-back lines have been very, very impressive and very disciplined. We spoke already about Caelan Larkin, James Mahan and Rory Kelly, but in fairness to Bobby Murphy, Kieran Flynn and, and Joseph Pearson, they've, like your marking screen, he does big pretch in there. So in fairness to full-back line, Hurling very well. Here's Brock and Riley, 45 metres out. Brock and Riley comes, uh, gets the ball across the field, takes a couple of steps forward, takes a booming effort for Leash, the goalkeeper, it's out to the left hand side and wide. And Stephen, in the modern game, probably wouldn't have done that from the goals in your time, but you can just see Leash were quick as a flash. Brock and Riley made a great run and just unlucky not to get the score. Was told not to come out of the goals, Joe, that's why he really got chance. <laughs> No, but, but look, at it was a good opportunity. He's playing with the breeze, and he was unfortunately well. But just on the last play there, to be fair to um, Liam Hora, to be fair to Liam Hora, all he had to do when the ball came in, he had one leash man coming in, just tapped down the ball. The only leash man that was inside, um, the only leash man that was inside was Jerry Quinlan at the time. Well, away come off you up the field once again. It's end hand stuff. Score still at a premium so far. Cahill Robinson trying to get it, but Leash really started to dominate uh, in that defence. Their full back, uh, Kieran Finn, he's been outstanding in the last 15 20 minutes. Comes back to his goalkeeper, Brooke on O'Reilly. And with that, the referee blows for half time. 31 minutes and 15 seconds. The game's finally pies. And listen to the atmosphere here as both sides head into the tunnel. What an occasion for both sets of players. I think everyone here, whether they're neutral, whether with Leach or Offaly, really commending a two fantastic sides. And the, the game finally pies. You can cut the tension in on Moore Park here with a knife. But the players settling into it quite well. Scores at a premium, but the game finally pies. Yeah, you're right. Scores at a premium. Uh, probably goalies and full back lines playing fierce well. So frees are going to be important. Uh, I was very impressed with Offaly's set up the way they were playing the ball in. They probably, they probably went through a 10 minute lull where um, it, it, it wasn't working for them. Leash.